Hey, this is Jim. Welcome back to Silent Sales Machine Radio. We've got a treat today. It's something we're going to be doing from time to time over the coming weeks and months. We're going to have some guest hosts helping out with the show. What's happening is there are so many great success stories that we want to bring you that there's a bit of a bottleneck. I just can't get them all on my schedule. There's so many great stories to share, great strategies to share, and so much encouragement. I don't want to get in the way of getting that to you. So we're going to have a few more episodes per week, per month with some guest hosts showing up. I'll still be doing plenty of episodes myself as well. We've got three people or so that are going to jump into the mix. You're going to meet one of them here in just a moment. I'll let him introduce himself, introduce the show, take it from the top so you can meet him and find out who he is. It's someone you've heard on this podcast episode before. But the truth is, We've got so many great leaders in this community, so many great people succeeding and creating content. There's no need for me to be the only one that's behind the microphone each episode because there's so many other great people who are perfectly capable of doing the show and interviewing these great students. That way we get you more great content more quickly. I know many of you listen to this show as you're commuting to work every day. Well, what if you, what if you run out of episodes? So we're thinking about making this much more frequent. The goal being at least three episodes per week, maybe more than that. We're going to try it out, see how it goes, see what you think. This is your show too, so please tell us. So I'm not going to ruin the surprise. I'm going to turn it over to our guest host for today. An incredible story about a dad who got to come home thanks to the stuff that we teach around here, the Proven Amazon course and all the strategies that he's learned from that. He's now home full time and I'm not going to steal any more of the story than that. Enjoy this episode. Enjoy the guest host. Let us know what you think. We're going to be doing a lot more of this with a couple other guest hosts as well that you'll be hearing from in the coming weeks. God bless you. I'm going to turn it over to our guest. Hey guys, welcome to the Silent Sales Machine Radio Podcast. No, this is not Jim Cockrum. This is Ryan Rieger. I'm having the amazing opportunity to guest host for Jim. I've been a friend of his for several years now. I've been in this community for several years and I have my own podcast and just offered to help Jim out with some of the podcast episodes coming up. We have a lot going on in this community, a lot of success stories, uh, too many for one person to take on and interview them all. So I decided I'd uh, help him out with uh, interviewing some folks. So you're going to hear my voice more in the next few weeks and next few months. So today, today's episode, guys, is with Jason Busby. He's a member of the Amazon Legends group that we have in our community. He just recently quit his job. We're going to talk about how he did that, the decision he, how he came to that decision to do that, the strategies that he uses in his business, what he looks for in products. We're going to talk about replens, a strategy that he has that gave him the confidence to make that leap because now he's walking into stores with essentially a shopping list and he's not always looking for clearance. So if you are in a position where you're thinking about when to make that leap, this, was a, this episode is a good one for you. And it's just really encouraging overall. We're in the month of June and this is, you know, Father's Day is coming up and I am just stoked to see another dad coming home. And that's a thing that's on Gemini's heart to be able to quote, bring dads home. And Jason is another one of those success stories. So super excited to bring this interview to you. Here's Jason Busby. Jason, welcome to Silent Sales Machine Radio. How are you today? I'm doing excellent. How are you? I am great. Thanks so much for coming on, telling your story. I was really excited when I saw that you left your job. As you know, Jim talks about bringing dads home. And that's something that's big time on my heart. I want to have more people have the experience that you and Sarah um, have had and are now going to be able to have that you labeled, were able to leave your job. So congratulations on that. I definitely want to dig into that. But go back to tell me how you got started selling on Amazon. Well, Ron, I appreciate you having me on. And it's an honor to be on this podcast. And Of course. Of course, I'm a little nervous, but... Uh, hey, it's all right. First ever, yeah, first time to ever do this. So No problem. We're excited. Um, so yeah, we, uh, actually heard about Jim, uh, back in our eBay days. Okay. Uh, 2000, 2001. Okay. Yeah. Um, did that for a couple of years and then, uh, kind of got burned out on it just because of, uh, it's just, you know, prepping, shipping, just right. Uh, plus having a job and having little ones. Yeah. Um, so we kind of took a break from that till about okay. 2017. 
when I was reintroduced to Jim, I can't remember how Sarah and I were thinking about it. And it's like, <laughs> we can't remember how we yeah. ran into his name again, but then uh-huh. heard about the proven Amazon course. Okay. Um, had no clue to sell, sell on Amazon. We thought you had to be a big corporation or a big company <laughs> right. to do it. Um, so we heard about the proven Amazon course. Uh, we bought it in 2017. Okay. Um, really didn't do anything with it for a year. Uh, 2008, fall of 2018 is when actually we got started. Okay. Um, so we did our first Q4. Um, and then that's pretty much. That's, awesome. that's only been a year and a half. So in a year and a yeah. half, you got it to a point to where you're like, you're comfortable. I mean, not comfortable. I know you told, told me privately, you're a little bit nervous about leaving the job and all that, but you, you sure. made that jump. It was at a point where and guys, it's okay to be, you know, there's only, anytime there's change, there's, you're going to have you know, nervousness, like, oh, bro, right. I'll be doing this. Um, but a year and a half. So you started in Q4 of 2018 and we're recording this in June, 2020. And you, yep. your business is successful enough where you're like, hey, bye-bye job. Yeah, we got to a point where, you know, we're doing enough. If, if we went full time, we could make up the difference. That's awesome. So. That is awesome. Yeah. So uh, Jim and I have a, a friend, you've heard of Dan Miller. He talks about, um, you know, for him, he gets, he's a career coach guys. And so he talks about 50%. Uh, I know it may be different for everybody else, for different folks, but he says that if you get to a point to where your side hustle is at 50% of your full-time job level of income, then that's a point where you should feel fairly confident Right. making that jump because then you can, with all those extra hours, you're going to be able to make up that difference. Exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. Where were you guys at? I mean, you, you don't have to tell me numbers or income or whatever, but as far as percentage, were you close to that 50% mark or where? Yeah, I think we're close to okay. it. Um, yeah. You know, of course we're still, you know, well, we're still learning and still growing, yeah. but uh, we're close to 50%. I, my job, it was, Getting very stressful. Uh, yeah. As I was a field staff adjuster uh-huh. um, for an insurance company, and and just, they were making some changes, and mm-hmm. it just got so stressful. Where you know, it just it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, they're just they're forcing people out, yeah. and they're doing layoffs every seems like every quarter. Okay. Um, so I, I saw the writing on the wall and yeah. and I was like, you know what? We need to kick this thing up. It's working That's and awesome. it's more fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I was like, why not? Let's just, you know, take a leap of faith and, and so let's do it. And Love Sarah, it. Uh, anytime I talk like that, she would, she would be real nervous. Uh-huh. And she's more like, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> So she was supporting you, pushing you towards that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That's awesome. I mean, she was. She's like, let's do it. Let's do it. I so, love it, man. It's so, it's so much. That's so much better than if she was like, no, 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 don't. You know, you, the, having that supportive spouse is huge. Huge. We have a yeah. whole episode just about that, about you know what it's like, you know, to uh, if you're trying to do this alone, or you got somebody who is always telling you, no, it's not possible. Uh, yeah. that's just a, a big downer, but to have somebody that's supporting you behind you, like Sarah is, that's, that's a, that's going to make, it can make or break the make yeah. the business. Well, honestly. Yeah, sure. And that, that was the main thing, but also on top of that, you know, we're in the legends group and okay. yeah. I mean, we, Sarah and I both know that, you know, with the legends, we have that yeah. support as well, which has been monumental with where mm-hmm. we're at now. I mean, since we, I think we joined Legends January 2019. Okay. Um, and we built some friendships and, you know, um, just it's, uh, just the support is just huge. Yeah, it is. And, and you um, talk about the Amazon Legends group, you can go to provenamazoncourse.com forward slash legends to get more information about that. It's just a, a private support group, essentially, that's kind of a subset of this larger My Silent Team community. Yep. And not only that, I mean, the family feel to the group yeah. is, that's what makes it, <laughs> I mean, just really good. I mean, we it love does. it. 
I we totally agree with you. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm blessed to be able to be a part of that and help found that group. And, um, you know, I, guys, I've actually gotten to know Jason and Sarah really well. They live close to us. And so we have local Dallas Fort Worth meetups for the Legends group. And it, you're right. It, the folks that are connected, the ones that are that come to the events, the ones that uh, just are plugged in, those are the ones that are quitting their job like you guys are. So, yeah. Super cool. So, that's all. Tell me about your Amazon business, what that looks like, RAOA, wholesale, private label, what a, what's, what's, what's that? Yeah, like so, you guys? yeah, right now we, uh, we're doing, majority is retail arbitrage. So uh, we have some OA, but 99% is, you know, we're going to the stores or I am, I'm going yeah. to the stores. Yeah. So, and I do a mix of replens okay. and clearance, sell items. Um, used I mean, before it, the majority was grocery items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but now it's a, it's a real mix of grocery, you know, home goods, uh, toys. I actually been doing a lot of toys lately, surprisingly. Yeah. Is that because you are branching out and just in looking for more of those opportunities and not just getting stuck in the grocery category? Yes. Yes, definitely. We're trying to branch out and yeah. get other uh, categories going. That's awesome. But, uh, and I mean, the toy, we're doing a lot of replants and toys. Wow. I mean, I can't. Yeah. So, but it takes, I mean, you got to find the right ones. I mean, it's sure. Not, because there's so many different variations of different toys. Yeah. Um, but they're doing really well right now. That's so. awesome. Yeah, guys, he just mentioned replans, and this is a strategy that uh, Jimmy Smith talks a lot about in this group. Um, I'll have a link to that. There's a, actually even a replans course as well that you can get in, involved in if you're interested. But tell me about, okay, so replans and toys. Most people think about replans. And we just had a, a, I did a webinar with Jimmy in the MST group of earlier this week. And we talked about what replens are. And guys, replens are items that just sell over and over again. Yep. They don't have to be groceries. A lot of people think it's something that people consume over and over again, like toilet paper, paper towels, Oreo cookies, for example. But Jason just said something powerful that replens in the toys category, you're not going, my son is three years old and you have three kids, right? Yep. Um, you, you probably aren't going to buy uh, a Mickey Mouse toy. I know this is you know earlier for you guys, your kids are older, but you're not going to buy a Mickey Mouse toy and then the next day, oh, let's get one more. Uh, right. So a replan, we're talking about things that just, they sell over and over again, but not necessarily to the same customer. So Jason and Sarah could buy a Mickey Mouse toy, me and Melaine buy a Mickey Mouse toy, and then Jim and Andrea buy a Mickey Mouse toy, and it's just something that sells over and over again. So talk about, and with replens with toys, go through the process of like, you know, you walk into a store, what do you even, where do you even begin? Because the toy category, my goodness, there's so many, you know, I think about my local Walmart, there's probably five or six aisles of toys. How do you even mentally get ready for that? And what do you do when you get to that aisle? Well, I, you know, with having kids, you know, they, uh, on social media, they'll, they'll tell me, you know, what's popular. Um, okay. yeah, you know, you can look at like collectible toys, not necessarily like, um, you know, ones you can't play with, mm -hmm. but like, uh, say, you know, Pokemon, yeah. stuff like that. Pokemon, okay. um, those kind of, you know, toys uh -huh. would be, uh, you can look into those. Okay. And, um, not necessarily Pokemon, but just, you know, just that type okay. of collectible card games. Sure. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so if you're in a card game area of, a, let's say, Walmart, for example, <clears throat> what do you do when you get there? Like, you're walking me, let's walk in there together. We walk into the card game section. You got your, I assume you have your phone, like an Amazon seller app or something like that pulled up. Right. What do we, uh, do you just start scanning every single card game that's there or do you do something different? Uh, I'll, I'll scan some. Uh -huh. uh, I'll probably start with that. Because, you know, the, the toys and card games the UPCs are pretty, you know, accurate and they'll get to the listing, uh -huh. but then there's bundles that you can do mm. with, uh, different games, right. Um, card games. You're not going to find probably not going to find those just by no, scanning though. You got to type those in. Yeah. So that's real important. It's called, I think, uh, it's reverse sourcing. Reverse sourcing. Yep. And so you type that in the legends group. Yep. Uh, you know, type in the, 
you know, brand, mm-hmm. you know, plus something else, okay. <laughs> like bundle yeah. or variety or right. But uh, that's that's key right there is typing it in. That's I found a lot of different uh, things where you wouldn't find. Sure. The scanning. Yeah, you type it. You scan a barcode. Mm-hmm. It might come up with one, maybe two of the items. But you start typing in that brand name, then you're searching. The power on that, guys, is you're searching the way buyers are searching. Nobody says, you know what, honey, um, at Uno card game, let's let's buy that. Do you remember what the UPC code is for that? No, no. Right. It's like they go in there and type in Uno card game or Uno or Skip Bow or whatever card right. game it is. And so when you walk into a store and you type in brand names or names of products, you are searching the same way an Amazon customer is searching and they find bundles because bundles sell. And so right. you're going to find what we call in the Legends group, hidden listings that only show up when you type in a brand name or type in a cat, type in, you know, the, the name of the product, you know, AIM yep. toothpaste, for example, AIM toothpaste, 24 ounce. You're going to find what we call those hidden listings and you're jumping on those, right? Jumping on those right. bundles and, and selling. Oh, exactly. Yep. And they're exactly reclines right. for you because they sell over Reclans. and over again. Yes. Yeah. And that's, Maybe. yeah, that's been... I couldn't, I mean, I, I never went to 12. Well, actually, it's about a month ago mm-hmm. is when I started going okay. to toys. And I couldn't believe how much stuff I found. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. and, and, it, and mail is two different stores, Walmart and Target. Wow. Huge. And, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And Walmart, I mean, they, they have rollback prices, but they don't have a lot of sales like Target does. Mm-hmm. So I just buy them off the shelf full price. Yeah. And I can't believe people are paying for this, the, the prices they pay for it. Right. And you don't oh. care, right? You're cause you're serving a need there. You know, there's people like me who are just going to be like, I, I need this. I need this tomorrow. I don't have time to go to the store. Yep. Um, and I might not even know what the prices of some of these things are in the store. So for me, I don't even know, don't really care. Cause it's a convenience thing. Right. Um, and there's so, so many different reasons why people pay more than full price for something. Uh, and you're, you're that in between you're, you're serving a need for them. So that's cool. Right. And you're able to build a business at the same time, feed your family. Yeah. Love it, man. Yeah. So it's just because you decided, Hey, let's try the toy category. Let's go in here. Let's start typing in some of the things that you see. Yeah, exactly. That's so, awesome. Yeah. It's been uh, very, very good. So <laughs> do you still, so then you say you also do some clearance. So will you hop over to the clearance aisle as well and see what you find there? Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the clearance. I mean, if I'm there, I might as well sure. go in there. I mean, sometimes I find stuff, sometimes I don't. Yeah. But, uh, but your I'm, business, here's what's key. Your business is not based on those clearance things, is it? Nope, not at all. Because, and you, it'd be hard to do that because then you'd be driving all over the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex looking for clearance. Tell right. me about the. Tell me about what Replens has done for you, as far as just the stability of it. Well, it's. I mean, predictable. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know. I once we run out of something, I can go back and and replenish it. Yeah. Sometimes it's. I mean, the toys, especially with all the variations. Um, you know, like Hot Wheels, things like that. Mm-hmm. It, it may be sometimes hard to find that particular car. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm, you know, after going to two or three Walmarts, mm-hmm. you know, I can typically find it. Yeah. And while I'm there, I'm, I'm buying other stuff. I'm, I'm just That's looking awesome. there. I'm, so. And you're looking for new replans all the time too? Oh yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And guys, what he said there is huge because now he's able to comfortably, uh, he's able to quit his job knowing that he has this base of replens, this foundation of products that sell over and over again. So when he's walking into a store, yes, he's looking for clearance for because there's going to be fine, things that he'll find for $5 and he can sell for 40 and that's going to happen once in a while. But his business is not based on those things. He's able to walk into to a Walmart with, okay, I need to restock these 10 toy SKUs, these 10 home improvement SKUs, and you're just walking in with a shopping list. That's something that you could send a shopper very easily and say, here, just right. go restock these for me. And you're doing whatever else you want. Right. Exactly. That's so, awesome. Yep. Love it. Yeah. It gives you the confidence to be able to do what you just did, which is say bye-bye to your employers. <laughs> yeah. You get oh, yeah. The stress people. level's much better. I mean, it's a different type of stress level, but, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, at least it's, we're building our business. 
you right. know, and not somebody else's. I so, love it. So excited, yeah. guys. The replen is the everybody that in our community, most of the folks in our community that are being able to quit their jobs is based on they have that stable foundation. And it's usually products that are selling over and over again. They're not always looking for new clearance items because yeah, you're going to find those scores, but, and you may be able to go to several more Walmarts and find them, but you know, you're not going to be able to find those things over and over and over again on clearance. Realize we're talking about things that are full price that you can go into the store at any time and, and purchase. And so talk, a lot of questions, we were just had that webinar with Jimmy about replens. People ask, um, how many should I buy? So, and I know it's different for every seller. Just tell me for what you guys do. When you, when you find a brand new replen that you want to test out, how many do you, do you, do you buy that first time? Uh, I do about three to five. Okay. So, yeah. um, that's good. You know, sometimes I get in there and they'll, they'll sell real quick. Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, sure, about 10. <laughs> <laughs> and then sometimes it, they'll, it's a little slower than, than expected, but. Okay. And know. so when those three to first three to five uh, sell, then you walk in next time, how many do you buy that second time? Uh, depending on fast, the, the, they sell, I'll, if they sell fast, I'll, I'll double it. Yeah. So that's awesome. Like I have one replan now that, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to find. It used to be, on, it used to be in Walmart. Okay. Um, it's a health and beauty item, uh, mm-hmm. and they stopped selling it, but our local store sells it still. Love it. So like I have, we're about to do a shipment and I got over 30 to send in. Oh, nice. Would that be something and, and that you sell. might, um, is that, is that a type of product that you might actually look up the distrib find a distributor for and see if you can get that if you can't get it at Walmart anymore? Uh, maybe. I'm, okay. Yeah. I'm, I haven't thought about that, but sure. But, uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it sells, it'll sell out within two days. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, well, when I first started, I heard, I heard people saying that, you know, uh-huh. well, we get in there, we can't get, keep it stocked. I was like, uh-huh. well, I wish I can get something like that. <laughs> so it, finally we found a few, a few that, I love it. Uh, that are like that. Just it go find more time. of those. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, but you got to test it. You're not, you know, the guy's the first time he finds a product like that, he's not buying 30 of them. That's the beauty. No, of no, no. Like he's able to do research in the store or even you see, you could even do this at home. Like you could go, uh, if he doesn't want to spend, you know, forever long in an aisle, he could, you know, do take a video or a picture and go home and do the research, but he's still, he'll go home and look at it or do it in the, in the aisle there. And you're looking up Keepa. So you're able to make wise decisions, yep. but even with that data, you're still not, you know, risking much you're you know three to five and so what yeah. if they don't sell very fast okay you just may not buy those again you may put your money else put your money in something that when you buy 30 of them they sell right. so fast yeah and, and keep it too i mean it i've had i have replant items that when i found them uh-huh. the keep a chart was not i mean it wasn't good i mean it was like in the millions the okay. rank uh-huh. and i'm like you know what this this feels like a good good. I mean, I just went with my gut, right? So I I bought five of them, and mm-hmm. they they sold within a week. That's awesome. And the rank was terrible, wow. so you can't always go. <laughs> you can't go by rank. Yep, for yeah. sure. So, but that's what's um, beautiful about it. Like you didn't even even keep it. Told you it wasn't even that great, but you thought, hey, let's just test it out. And you're you're not testing it out with uh, okay, let's let's find the manufacturer of these and let's order a whole container. No, let's let's buy five. And right. You're you're never risking a lot of money. So yeah, it was like ten dollars total for all of them. So love it. Like, why not? Let's do it. Yeah. So that is super cool, man. So what advice would you give for folks that are just starting out? I guess take take us back to you know when you guys started um, in 2018. What would you say to you know, Jason and Sarah then and to all the new folks that are starting now? Okay. If I was to start over, <laughs> um, I would, I mean, take action right away. I mean, what yeah. you, whatever you learn something, take action. But next to that, I would say, uh, you know, get your bookkeeping in order <laughs> because okay. if you don't, you know, uh, to be transparent, I mean, our, bookkeeping is terrible and we're trying to get it sorted out. Sure. So we're, we're getting, we're working on that now, but, uh, but I would take action on what you learn immediately. Yeah. Get a few, 
you know, uh, small successes under your belt. And then that will light the fire to take you to places that you haven't, you know, you can only dream. Yes, that's good advice. Yeah, because there's a lot of folks that will like get the proven Amazon course, Jason, and be like, I got to sit down and watch all of it before I can take action. No. I don't do that. The proven Amazon course is literally like a library of courses. Nobody goes into the library and think, you know what, I need to, I want to uh, write a report, you know, go back to the days when you go into the library and write reports here, you know, write a report about uh, dinosaurs. You don't uh, check out every book. You just go to the dinosaur section. Right. The same thing with the proven Amazon course. It's, it is a library. Some of the stuff on there you might not ever use because it's not even a, applicable to your business. Uh, but yeah. he's absolutely right. Learn a little bit and take action on that. Learn a little bit more and take action on that. At no point in that course are you ever going to be like, you know, anybody's going to say you need to liquidate your 401k, all your savings right. to, to hope that this is going to work. Right. Everybody we talk to, if they're starting new or even looking up a, a new replant, a new product that they want to test, they're buying three to five. Test yep. it on a small scale. Okay, good. Those sold. Okay, great. Let's go buy five more. Let's go buy right. 10 more. And you just slowly build it up from there. Yeah, and don't, and don't discount store brands. Mm. What do you mean by that? So tell me about, I, I know what that means, but tell somebody who's brand new what, what store brand means. Well, uh, like Walmart has you know, different store brands like Mainstays or mm-hmm. Quay, don't discount those because those, you can find things. Yeah. For those yeah, brands. Like Google, Walmart has a main, you said Mainstay, a great value brand is another Walmart brand. Right. But people, uh, you might think, oh, it's only going to be the green giant green beans that are popular. I don't know. Look, check out, type in great value and see yep. what comes up. Um, that's exactly. really good advice. There's store brand. And guys, if you're brand new, a lot of you that might have restrictions with your account, yes. You might have restrictions on certain big brand names. And I, we see that, Jason, in our community where people are just starting out. They, they feel like they can't buy anything. They'll never get to your level because they have all these restrictions. Well, you started out with restrictions too. Yes. Um, but that's awesome advice that he just gave. You don't learn anything else from this episode. That was key. Uh, try the store brands because those are things that are going to be probably not going to be restricted for you. And right. even if you have a fresh brand new account starting today, and that you, you can immediately start to sell. But don't overlook those because people will buy that stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, Jason, I just, um, I, I got to say, I'm super proud of you, super proud of what you and Sarah have done. Um, I, am, I, I want more guys to be able to quit their job just like you did, uh, more families to be able to have that free time that now you're going to have. Not that you're just going to go you know, wild and have a lot of friends. Right. You're, you're going to work your business, but right. you just said that it's, it was a, huge, it was a big, big stress relief, essentially, to be able to, to leave that behind. And now you're working for yourself. So super proud of you guys. Yeah. My daughter, she, uh, she asked me, she went with me to source one day Uh and she's like, so do you miss your job? And I was like, (laughs) (laughs) not at all. I love it. That is awesome. Yeah. It's great. I mean, like I said, it comes with more, I mean, different kinds of stress. Sure. Sure but or challenges or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, but it's yours. I mean, you're building your right business. And yep. so that makes it, I mean, world of difference. Yeah. And so, so true. And I know if we wouldn't, it wasn't for you and like Danny and all, you know, all the other leaders and the legends group, we certainly wouldn't be where we're at today. Mm. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you guys were, mm. I mean, huge, mm. you know, and, you know, I said it's family. I, I, I mean that because, yeah. you know, last year, it was this month, my sister, mm. you know, died. Yeah. And, uh, mm. you know, mm. and you guys just, I mean, stepped up and just, mm. I mean, totally supported us and mm. were there. You even, yeah. I mean, you came to the visitation. I mean, it's just, yeah, with, yeah. it's amazing which how you mm. guys, you know, yeah. helped us, you know, through that. And, but, uh Mm. we're just so grateful to be a part of the legends and yeah. us being friends. And so it's, it's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Which makes me even more proud of you guys because getting to know, you know, your story and, uh, but you're right. It is. It's like legends is like a family. The whole MST community is like a family. And cause you yeah. can do this. It's easy to do this on your own and never talk to anybody, but you're going to be more successful. You're going to learn more if you get in a group and get plugged in. So guys, get involved in that MST community. If you feel like yes. Legends might be a fit for you, uh, 
provenamazoncourse.com forward slash legends. You can check that out, see what Jason's talking about. It's one of those things you kind of have to experience to really yeah. feel the benefit of it. Um, you know, us talking about it, not quite as good as being in there yourself, but Jason, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Really appreciate you taking the time to share your story and Again, super proud of you guys and can't wait to see what uh, you guys are up to just in the next few months even. How many more replans you'll have by then? That'll be cool. Yeah, can't wait. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate it. You're welcome. We'll talk to you later. All All right.